Hi guys, this is Rusty78609. I'm at Rogers Motors in RV in Burnett, Texas, and I'm going to do a quick video of the Falcon. I believe it's called an F20. It's by Travel Light RVs. I guess you go to travellight.com. This just happens to be a red one. It also has a little aerodynamic piece of fiberglass across there. It may help your fuel economy a little bit. All LED lights on the outside. This one has an awning. Looks like it's about a 12 or 15 foot awning all the way down there. Uh, that's the vent hood for the the uh, or the vent for the vent hood. That's an outside speaker and LED light on the outside. Here's a speaker down here. Uh, looks like they got 15 inch tires. Nice heavy duty ones with two steps instead of one like mine. And uh, this right here is a double 110 outlet right here. If you have shore power, you can use that. I love these little grab handles for entering and exiting. I don't have one. I wish I did. I've got a Coachman 16-foot Clipper Cadet. And this is some storage underneath. There's a bed right in the front. We'll go inside in just a minute. But anyway, it's a pretty unit. I love the red color. And this is a uh, metal. It looks like fiberglass, but it's actually metal. And uh, they have uh, uh, four screw-down uh, stabilizer jacks. And they've got a little gravel shield here, which is good. And you know it's got a little aer aerodynamic shape to it, and that it's kind of curved I mean, or, or pointed, I guess you'd say, and uh, that helps. It's also got an electric uh, jack in the front. There's uh, two propane tanks there. Those are 30-pound tanks, and then behind it is uh, two 12-volt batteries. So that's good. Instead of one 12-volt battery, you got two. And I'll get back up a little bit and give you the shot of the whole thing here. It's got a roof AC and we'll go in in just a minute but I'll let you look at it right here it's a pretty RV it really is I love the color and it's got good wheels and those are nice wide tires and uh, like the R pod uh, they have the, the, the tires are on the outside rather than being underneath the RV they're on the outside to give you a little bit more stability going down the highway and on we go on down the side here you got the, there's the storage underneath the bed in the front this is the refrigerator vent right here that is the vent for the furnace this is an outside shower above that is your plug for your 35 amp plug if you have shore power or you have a generator you want to plug into next to that is uh, i believe the uh, if you have cable connection or you have an outside antenna of some kind you can plug in right there and then right next to it is solar that's a solar connector right there it's pre-wired for solar power and again here's an outside shower with uh, hot and cold water uh, this is your fresh water tank fill right here this is where you hook up to uh, water if you have a water connection or city water connection or whatever and this is your hot water heater that's a six gallon propane electric and uh, that's good and what else uh, let's go on around I've already pointed out this cute little feature up there, that little aerodynamic wind spoiler. But let's go inside now and we'll see what's happening. Yeah, I like the little handrail right here, the little grab holder right there, that helps a lot. It helps me, let's say that, I'm 72 years old. Yeah, two steps is good. I've got one step and no grab. And there's the floor. It's kind of a mm, linoleum looking stuff, kind of a tan brown color. Uh, I'll go around, I'll do a little kind of a semi 360 and then we'll go individually. That's the kitchen, you know, nice uh, stainless steel sink, two burner stove, microwave oven, then a hood. Uh, and the, this is the uh, rear. You've got your dining, dining, dining area, which also makes into a bed. And, of course, they've got their little Falcon logo here, which is a little added touch. And, of course, they got the windows. That, that's a, like an emergency window there. When you see that little handle under there, that's your emergency exit because it pushes out. And then you've got the blackouts and pull down that black out the window. And then, of course, you've got window screens on all the windows. This, this window slides. And this window slides. You've got some above storage. I'll open one up so you can see they're both the same. But, yeah, it's quite a bit of storage in there. And then you've got two speakers. There's one speaker there. And I'll show you that there's, these are all LED lights right here. And to turn them on and off individually, you just put, push this thing, but the batteries aren't hooked up, so it doesn't matter. Uh, again, this is a Greystone microwave oven. Uh, this is a, you know, aluminum stainless steel 
vent hood, nice, uh, nice large burner here and a smaller burner there. That's called a Flame King. And here I thought was some neat stuff. These are cute doors, okay? They're not, this is kind of a metal frame around these doors. And you pull this open, got some storage under the kitchen sink. And you open this door and inside are two drawers that you reach in here and just pull out, okay? And uh, they have the cute little side guides too. Those are nice. Th th those drawers will last a long time. It's got two of those drawers. That'd be all for your kitchen utensils. And this door right here will keep them from sliding open as you were driving down the highway. And some storage underneath. What else? Okay, fridge. You got a nice refrigerator right here. This is a Dometic three-way, 12 volt, 110, and all that stuff. And it's got plenty of storage. This is actually almost a full-size fridge. It's a big one. I mean, this is a good old good one. You know, this would be good for a couple or family, actually. And it's got some nice uh, freezer. It's got a nice size freezer compartment, uh, some drawers and stuff. Yeah, plenty of storage for camping. I could live with this for sure. And then the uh, shower, which I've already been in and stood up and did all that stuff. Uh, it's got a little metal uh, frame. This is all metal right there, kind of an aluminum stuff. And you just pull this open, and there's the shower. Okay, of course, it's a wet bath, which is not bad. Uh, you know, you just got to get used to them, that's all. It's got a little skylight there, and in addition to the skylight, it's got, I'm not sure if that's a Dometic, or excuse me, a Fantastic Fan, or a, I think that's fa a Fantastic Fan 4-speed fan, but th that's a good exhaust fan. Also a nice LED light there. And what else can I tell you about the shower? Not much. There's the drain. That's where the water goes out into your gray water tank. Okay, here's the front bed. Got a window on each side. And it has the blackout curtains on, the, on each side. The windows, these windows slide. Okay, nice thick mattress. Very comfortable. I laid down on it. Plenty of room for me, obviously. And then underneath, there's storage, but you access it. You can access it by lifting this thing up underneath. There's a piece of plywood. Or there's two doors on the outside to access the storage under the unit. Now I'll give you some specs on this particular unit, and it's in very small print. But the unit we're going to be talking about is the one right here. Okay, and then it's, it's the F20. So here we go. The F20 dry weight, 2,480 pounds. Hitch weight, 260 Overall length 19 feet 10 inches, overall width 10.1 inches, uh, overall height 104 inches, uh, interior height 6 foot 3 inches, if I'm reading that right, my arms aren't long enough, and then it's got fresh gray, etc. 31, 30, 30, and then refrigerator says 5 cubic feet, which is good. Uh, it's got, well, it's got two, uh, those are 20 pound tanks, I guess, but it says it's got, and also got two batteries. Uh, the AC is 13,500 uh, BTUs. Uh, it'll come with a 19-inch. Uh, what? Well, oh, excuse me. That's optional. This one. This one has the uh, optional roof AC. You can see it right here. And uh, here's the controls for it. But 13,500 BTUs will freeze you in this thing. I promise you. Because I've, I've lived in travel trailers for over 25 years. But I do like the quality of the workmanship in the kitchen. You know, I like this. I like that little splash guard back there because it's kind of a kind of a hard, glassy plastic. be easy to keep clean. And I like the idea of this large deal here for a burner. Like if you wanted to cook a roast or something, you got enough space to do it. So anyway, having said that, uh, as far as the price, I don't know. I know y'all hate that. I hate it myself, but there's no one here to ask. So, uh, yeah, you can call Rogers Motors. Let me turn around and give you something better to view than the bed. I'll give you this over here. Uh, you can call Rogers Motors and RV in Burnett, Texas at 512-756-6259. Okay? And, or you can go to Rogers Motors and RV Sales.com and uh, check out their prices on, the, on their website. Again, that's Rogers Motors Sales.com. Again, I'm not a salesman for them. I don't do, I, I'm just doing these videos because I enjoy uh, checking out the new units and seeing what's available because, again, I live in a travel trailer and done it for years, and if I find something better than what I got, I'll get it. So anyway, guys, from Central Texas, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you like, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission, and it does not cost you 
one penny okay uh, but anyway what else uh, you know drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day and gonna hurt you stretch walk take deep breaths you know breathe in deep breathe out slowly that relieves stress what else uh, you know think good thoughts you know think positive don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get in your head you know what I mean and uh, so you know just stand guard at the door of your mind okay anyway having said that guys adios from Central Texas bye bye